Hello, this is Coffee Break with Ninita, a daily guide of coping skills that gets us through by making us strong. Very often we say, why do bad things happen to good people? What makes someone be called a good person is his his or her whole positive attitude. When someone is cursing and fighting and miserable, threatening, a person like that sort of deserves bad things to happen to him, we think. What I'm saying right now is that our bad attitude often justifies the bad things that happen to us. And when, despite the bad that has happened, we keep we change our attitude into a whole attitude, just our presence makes people think, think more carefully of how unfair injustice has taken place. You see, that fresh coat of paint that I call whole attitude makes everything in the person shine, bright, attractive. And when the person shines, bad events that happen to that person look even worse, even more unfair. And this is something, unfortunately, the paradoxical thing is that we very often feel that if bad things happen to me, that justifies my attitude to be half negative, fighting, hurtful, angry because of the things that have happened to us. We sort of think that bad things justify bad attitudes. What is more important is not how justified the bad things and the bad attitudes are. What is more important is not to fall into that spider web that I call half attitude, where it feels unfair, we feel stuck, and we can get free from it. The only time that we can go forward in life, move on, get away from bad events that happen to everybody, unfortunate events that happen to all, for sure a way of coming out and starting a new way, a new chapter, a new life, falls into the positive attitude of ours. Our positive attitude does not indicate that terrible things have not happened to us, on the contrary, What it indicates is that terrible things happen to good people and my positive attitude reveals that I am a good person, that I did not deserve what happened to me, but very often bad things happen to good people. And the good people stay good because they constantly find a way of developing a whole attitude, a warm, happy, optimistic, loving, empowering, energizing attitude despite all the challenges and difficulties they face. The Christian faith is pretty much a good application of what I'm talking about. Can you see a Christian Can you call someone a Christian that curses, gets angry, fights, kills? Even if he or she calls himself or herself Christian, 
we shake our head and say, no, no, he's not acting in a Christian way. In Christianity, good people are not good, do not act good because everything fall in place in their lives. No, a lot of challenges through the years have been faced by Christians, but it is their attitude, it is that Christianity helps them paint a coat of whole attitude, their minds, and are able to relate, to behave, especially to enemies, the whole way. We thank you for listening to Coffee Break with Nanita. Our goal is to help our stay whole community work through their challenges. Please join this cause by supporting us on Patreon. You can do that for the price of just one cup of coffee per month. Just click on the Patreon link in the podcast description below or simply visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash stay whole. We appreciate you and hope we can help you stay whole.